Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Instructsan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 4, Episode 11 called Blood Memory. So we start off with Sylvia Caria um, was training some more. And then all of a sudden she literally got, um, her nose started bleeding and she collapsed. So they tried to bring her back to life and they tried to bring her with um, the EKG. But all of her energy went everywhere and it went into some pills in National City. And the guys sold them and they messed up the guys that they sold it to. So um, they had a frat party and they just went kind of berserk. But meanwhile, the Danvers and friends have game night. And then Alice got called in to work. And we have the guys going crazy. So Pearl jumps in and helps. But since uh, Alice doesn't know who Supergirl is, she kind of just brushes her off. It's like, let us do our job. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, uh, Cara is at work the next day eating her feelings by eating like a thousand donuts. <clears throat> and then when uh, Jane suggests to throw herself into her work, and she says, yeah, you're right. So she goes on um, to work. And so this other girl, Mackenzie, comes in with some scoop for L Corp and says that they have some type of um, secret fund for genetics that she got from a source. So she asked, can I run it? He said, yes, but um, just send me all the information first and I'll see what I can find on that. Then we have uh, Nia talking to her sister in the, um, about how she can't come home and uh, car over here's that and because like apparently all the flights were closed so uh to the hardest level and parthius i hope i'm saying that right and uh, so car says uh, i'll offer to drive and they want to turn to like a road trip where they uh she can also do an article and she said oh james would be fine with taking time off it'll be just totally fine <clears throat> so um they go on the road trip and She's up and she's up and up about being herself and being a transgender, which is good for her. And basically, um, but she says tells Car not to tell them about her dreaming powers because she hasn't told them yet. And on the way there, um, let's see. Oh, we get back. Hang on, got a little ahead of myself, just a little bit. Uh, so Alex uh, questions the guys, but they didn't really get anywhere, so she wants to enlist the help of Brainy. Then we cut to where the dealers want to cash in because they see all these views that they're getting online and stuff, so they kind of want to cash in on that and basically get a bunch of money. And the sister's like, um, I thought we are going to stop doing this. She's like, he's like, you just got to trust me a little bit. It'll be fine. And um, we cut to where Nia dreams of an old woman who, who I'm going to go ahead and say it's her mother, which I didn't know was her mother. I thought it was just an old lady who uh, drinks this black liquid and then dies and then transforms into a bird. And then Kara wakes up in their home. And when she saw the squid ink, that little like, black liquid that she drank when she died, she flipped out and freaked out and dropped it. And we found out that the mom paints, paints her dreams. And we found out that only one child can have the dream in power or it skips like a generation. Then Alex is uh, basically... Uh, it's like another job, and it's not really her fault because the whole mind wiping thing, she's not really on her A game. So everything's just kind of messing her up a little bit, which is unfortunate. And then we cut to, uh, oh, she can't remember, so she calls John to scan her mind. Then we cut to where Kara tells Dreamer to tell her sister, and she says, I will after the, um, later, but I want to tell my mom first. So, uh, John talks to Brainy, and basically he says that he'll lie to her and do like a sleep a placebo type effect. Then Kara interviews the sister to buy time between uh, Nia and her mom so they can talk. And 
sees the children of liberty, but the sister says, like, oh, we have, we can take care of ourselves, so don't even worry about them. And, uh, and then we cut to where Brainy adds Freddy to the guys. So Alex wants to use Brainy to get the information from the guys. He got it in under two minutes. <laughs> and we find out that, uh, that the people left town and they check on the plates and it turns out the RV is in the little sister's name and not in the guy's name. Then Nia talks to her mom and uh, I guess a spider bit her and that's how she died, which is crazy. And so um, they both dream and basically um, the mom's like, oh, it's you because I never saw my daughter's face. She just saw her daughter. And basically it says that like, you're ready and that your element is, well, my element is water, yours is fire. It would be like way more powerful than I ever will be. And, you know, and that was kind of that. And so then we cut to where the sister blames herself after Nia wakes up. And we cut to where Jane talks to Lena and she says he She's training for game night. <laughs> like, Jane's going to ask all these questions about this uh, discretionary fund or whatever. And she, she's like, I'm training for game night. <laughs> and so he doesn't say anything. And he ends up helping her. And they play some games and some stuff like that. Which is actually kind of cute. And then we cut to where the guys are around uh, the same uh, around Parthias. The ones that sold the pills to the kid to the frat guys and they went to the agents of liberty people and they beat them up and take their um pills and they go crazy then Alex and D D are also going to path yes as well and then Nia's playing the blame game after the sister <laughs> does it so she's not playing the blame game herself and then we cut to where the funeral slash memorial in the town and apparently on this you wear white to honor uh the deceased in this town and then the dad had a dream last night and has a gift for dreama and then we go back to the memorial and she Nia has this, like a slight vision or, or i guess daydream and where she managed to get her sister out of the way before the agents of liberty came in and bust up the memorial service. And then the sister got mad about it and she storms off when uh, the whole thing happened because she's like, uh, uh, so you have the powers. So anyway, um, Supergirl comes in and so does the DEO and Supergirl tries to break up a fight. Alice is about to off someone that was trying to just defend their home so Al so Supergirl disarms Alice Alice gets really mad at that like really mad at that and then we cut to Nia talks to her sister and sister got mad and says like you're not even a woman and says a you know really bad to her and then storms off and then we cut to where Nia and her are going home and car going home and then Cara decides to reveal herself and on the way back and so they try and say like look it's rough but it does get better you just got to let her calm down and let her go through all of her stuff and you do have a, a family and that includes me and also don't tell anybody <laughs> And then we cut to where James talks to Mackenzie and lies to her and says, everything's fine, everything worked out. We have really good instincts. Keep it up. Then we cut to where Nia opens the box and it's her suit, which actually looks pretty cool. And then John and Card talk and they're like, we just gotta be strong for Alex. We can't really do anything because the general's still on the war pressure and I found out who Card is. And then we cut to where, um, uh, then Alex comes in and they end up watching the movie, which is Terminator 2. And then we cut to where the Soviet guy wants someone in America. And that's the end of the episode. Uh, this was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I give it, um, A minus. I just don't, I just can't believe the, the, 
uh, mother died from a spider bite. That that just seemed a little crazy to me, but okay. But other than that, it was a really good episode. It was really enjoyable. Also, the Agents of Liberty. I just not here for that really. But it was kind of minimal, so I was okay with that. So that's why I didn't get it really A plus because I just it's Agents of Liberty. Ugh. I don't really like it. Period. But overall, I really enjoyed the episode. I like the fight scenes. I like how Kara has to compensate for Alex not knowing who she is and everything. So I really do enjoy that type of aspect of the, uh, aspect of the show. And so you just a different take on stuff. Because Kara's used to doing all this stuff one way. Then all of a sudden, after that mind uh, sweep, she's got to think differently about that. And it's very interesting to see about the whole power thing and how that got transferred. That was also kind of bizarre. But anyway, really good episode. Really enjoyed it. And that's going to do it for this week's this video for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment down below, tell me what you think. And also suggestions for any other shows or music or movies. Also let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.